there are guys and gals rob here with deluxe gaming and happy friday yay it's friday that's so awesome all right so welcome back to the balrathi slow and steady omnivorous conquest of the known world or the known galaxy rather but you know what's funny we are omnivores but we've got a taste right now we've got a taste in our mouth we are craving craving something specific chicken we want chicken. <laughs> Imagine this, a nice big drumstick, deep fried. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I could go for a wing, although I don't want any armpit. No armpit. Um, so yeah, we are currently at war with the Alcarians. They decided to bomb the crap out of one of our planets, and I'm not extremely happy about that decision of theirs. So we're about to take back that planet. Although, it's still vulnerable, but, you know, I think what we need to do, of course, we're going to build the automated factory first, and then we're going to build the missile base right away. And the missile base should be able to... Now, we haven't actually tested the missile base, like the planetary defenses. We don't know how well they work. But, missile base in our civilization should do very well, because we have uh, really advanced missiles. So, oh, another thing we're going to do right away, because... Uh, now... Some people are concerned that the missiles, or sorry, not the missiles, the fighters don't work. And uh, so, like, we did put bombers on this ship, and you know what? I'm going to leave them on here for now. I, I just want to see, uh, like, apparently they don't work well or something. I don't know. But I, I just want to see. If they don't work, we'll change them out. Like, we can refit the ship. But one thing we didn't add that we could add totally without any problem is the heavy armor. The heavy armor doesn't actually use up any space. Thank you for that, guys. That was in the comments. Thank you very much. So we're going to do that, and we're going to upgrade that ship right now. The Grizzly Fury. Uh, now, we should be able to... Yeah, the Grizzly Fury 2. So now everything that's in production, we're just going to go check. Um, I know that we have some building at our home world. I'm pretty sure. Ursa. There we go. And we're going to do a quick check on the planets here too because, because yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so it automatically turned all of the Grizzly Furies. <laughs> the Grizzled Furies is what I want. The Grizzled Furries is really what I wanted them to be. But there wasn't enough room. The Grizzly Furies are now Mark II. So that's good. Let's do a quick check because there's a couple things that I think we need to... Wow, 72 turns. This is Monstrum. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, it's mostly just because they don't have the population to be able to... And, yeah, a few other things. But whatever. That's fine. Ooh, 22 turns for that cub. wonder if they should deal with their pollution first. Nah, they'll be fine. All right. So, and then Lyra, you're good. Uh, Unicloud, we're going to wait until your uh, uh, terraforming's done. But that's... They're just about done that. That's awesome. Uh, let's put... We're going to stop focusing so much on research again i want to kind of come back to the basics oh why is this guy like we're not getting anything out of him look at this why like he's not on strike we're just not getting any production out of him at all is it the morale it must be the morale that's causing that it's really strange well whatever that's fine oh no they are maximum population my bad my bad my bad so but still yeah i don't know why why is he not getting so we're better off actually do no Oh, just the number's not appearing on his head. But we are getting... So this is a bug. Okay, okay, okay. So the numbers aren't appearing above their heads. But they are still... We're still getting the one, plus one production from him. My bad. Uh, this is a poor plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, ooh, we got a strike here. We're dealing with that. We Oh, actually, let's go back for a second. Nope, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, almost max population on that last planet. Okay, and... Nian, yeah, you're good. Just do some more terraforming. That's good. Uh... Lyra, you guys are... Oh, you're barren. Actually, you guys, I think... Is it... Uh, isn't... Can't we kill barren? Like, can't... Yeah, radiated... No, radiated becomes barren. And then uh, the toxic processor... No, that... Yeah, upgrades them to Baron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just terraforming is going to fix that now. So yeah, they're on their way. They're doing the right things. Doing all the right things. Good. It's important that we check our planets every so often. Yes. Now, this is an important planet. This planet, because it can become so big, I think we're going to make this a solid production planet. Um, if we're going to do that, we need a couple things here. Of course, uh, I think... Hold on. How's, how's our pollution right here? Yeah, okay. We're good for pollution right now. So let's go for the cloning center because that'll be super fast and then the toxic processor and then the hollow simulator and then uh yeah the star base and then they can actually start producing and the space elevator might as well do the space elevator first perfect done next uh good yeah these guys are going to be production yeah for sure 100 percent. and how actually population you know maybe we'll put somebody extra into food production there too as well and terraforming good it's you know it's oh actually 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you've got somebody in strike. You are working on the support facility, but that's not until later. Okay. And then Rex. Yes, Rex is actually, they've got pirates above them right now. So that's a bit of a problem, but we're going to deal with that in a second. And uh, probably wouldn't hurt to get some defenses here, some basic defenses, because this is going to be such a, a good planet. Like, I, honestly, I would want it to, maybe we did already build defenses here. Did we? Hold on. We might have. Or they're cute. No, no. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, we already have defenses here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Whoever was playing this game before was super smart. That was me. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. All right. Yeah, yeah. These, this is going to be our new starbase, our sort of frontline starbase. And Simeus? Okay, good. Yeah, and back to Ursa. Okay, good. Okay, so now we have our Simeus. Let's just take a look at this. Uh, can we buy it? We can buy that automated factory. Let's do that, and then we'll build the missile base and if somebody starts coming into the system we just got to pay attention if somebody starts coming at the system we will buy that missile base but we won't if we don't have to okay and then we've got some scouts we might as well kill the scout do we have hold on oh, no 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 i want to click on hold on zoom right in here there there we go oh yeah okay so we do have a scout here let's a scout with weapons a scout, one of our ng classes so we'll go take care of this scout because i don't want him scouting our stuff um just auto resolve that's fine I don't think we can even do a tactical. Yeah, we can't even do a tactical if they don't have weapons. So let's bring him back. Perfect. And uh, we are on our way to... Uh, that's right. We're coming on our way to Wilder. So that's that's going to happen soon. So move and fleet needs orders. Oh, also... Actually, yes. Because we have pirates over top of Rex, we need to deal with that really quickly. Um, attack. And I don't know. Do we take command? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see the missile bases work. Yeah, so the missile base on the planet should be helping this time. So I actually, I'm excited to see that go. I wonder if they have, like, the Dauntless attached to them. So in other words, as soon as the target is destroyed, do they move on to another target? We won't know in this instance, but, uh, oh. Oh, so the missile base is not actually on the planet? Oh, man, I wish they did this, like, Sword of the Stars. Sword of the Stars, you could actually see the missiles get launched from the planet. That was so cool. So, uh, is he coming in? We did have a ship here, too. Where's the ship? Oh, there he is. Okay, so the ship isn't moving. The... Weird. Uh... He's coming in. So, I guess if you're defending, the AI just stands still until he gets closer. Let's speed this up a little bit. Come on, dude. I just want to see the missile base work. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Wow, he is slow. That is a slow pirate. There you go. Boom, boom. Yeah, okay. It's kind of anticlimactic. I mean, one one, one little, you know, patched together pirate ship, that, that doesn't cut it. The bears need meat. We need bigger targets. Because that was not interesting at all. Right. Okay, so, uh, good. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, done. Uh, fleet needs orders. Oh, yeah, more of these scouts. You know what? These scouts, I'm, I'm kind of getting bored with the scouts. There's really nothing else to scout except for, uh, I guess we could send him... Yeah, how do we even get into that system? I don't know. Can we get... There's really nowhere else we can go uh, with these. Uh, you know, I'm almost tempted just to scrap these. Because these... Nah, we'll just keep them... You know, uh, we'll keep them as scouts away from our base. So that we can kind of keep track of the other enemies. So we'll we'll send one right to Gazelle. I think Gazelle's a good place. To kind of monitor activity from the Sacra to see if they come out of Gazelle. So that's that's a good idea. Next turn... And we should be almost at the pirate base. Yes, we are. Oh, cool. Okay, so automated factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. The missile base. Now, let's just take a quick look. Be sure nobody's coming in on Simeus. Nope, we're good. Okay, so now we should be able to destroy the pirate base. This is always fun. I love bombing. Oh, we should have almost... Oh, we should build a troop transport. I think we had one being built somewhere. Uh, Maybe not. We need to build a troop transport, guys. Um, Because we can. <laughs> because... Uh, civil, do we, can we not, I thought we could build two, tra or maybe we actually have to, hold on, we might actually have to design it, I'm not sure, uh, design, uh, cruiser destroyer, no, I don't know, so I don't know, do, do we have access, uh, maybe, maybe we're still waiting for that technology, but I thought we had that already, I thought we did. No, uh, okay, so, hmm, <laughs> I was sure, hold on, I was sure, Let's, we need to look at research here, just give me one sec, so view tree, I am sure it was, I uh, think is, I don't know this all that well, so, 
super alloys. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Um, I was I just thought, hold on, maybe let's try Ursa because Ursa we can build everything, right? So, civil troop transport. Yeah, we can build troop transports. Okay, so let's let's get a couple of those. Can we do five of them? It won't let us do five at a time. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can only do. Oh, so we can... I get it, I get it, I get it. So each... Okay, troop transports carry four marines. So because we have marines here that we built with our marine base, that makes sense. Well, if we're going to do that, let's also build... Isn't there another military building? Maybe, maybe I don't know. I thought we got like like these little uh, mechs or something last time. But I think they get built with the... Uh, let's just double check that. I think they get built with the with the marines too as well or in place of marines now marine barracks allow colony to train maintain ground troops uh but yeah i think they just they keep building <laughs> i'll figure all this out eventually i think they because we do have those little mechs and i'm sure they're building the little mechs too as well but yeah two tr two troop transports i think is a really good idea and if they only take one turn let's put those in in the head ahead um, in the meantime, yeah, I because, I mean, I'd much rather take over Altarian planets than destroy them. That makes more sense. But in the meantime, we could just kill that pirate base. Or just wait. I don't know. I don't know. I think let's... Ah, nah, we'll just wait. <laughs> fleet needs turn. Or fleet needs move. Let's uh, guard. Okay, next turn. Excellent! Almost to the Altarian base. Troop transport. Okay, once you obliterate an enemy's fleet and defenses orbiting colony, it's time to deploy marines for a ground assault to complete the invasion. Now, I'm I think in Master of Orion, just like Civilization, another thing, if you you know, well, civilization I guess doesn't count, but if you use troops to go in on a planet, you should be able to take it over, I think. I don't know. So, for example, if we destroy all of the defenses at Wilder, let's just see here. So they do have a star base and a missile base. Oh, and it's balanced. <laughs> I don't know if we could do this or not. This is, I don't know. You know what? Let's go repair because we can. I mean, we're right here. We, we might as well just kill this little military outpost and then go repair at Sick Tut because we can, we can finish buying the rest of the star base. And I just feel better about that. It just makes more sense. And in the meantime, let's send some troop transports in because, because yeah, why not? I mean... I'd like to try it, and uh, yeah, let's conquer the pirate base because, yeah. Population one, uh, drop all. Done, <laughs> sorry dude, <laughs> it was just one guy sitting there going, <laughs> one guy's like, uh oh. <laughs> oh right, oh that gives us, I love that. Sorry, I'm not gonna listen to you, uh, Worf. Um, but yeah, so you do get a little bonus when that happens, so we got actually one population point at Rex, which is fantastic actually, that's really great. Oh, that's, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so, uh, next fleet. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys are just hanging out, so just guard. Next turn. Uh, another troop, oh, we built both of those troop transports immediately. Is that what happened? Because uh, they were, they were so fa quick to build, that's why. Okay, so cool. So we're still gonna, we're gonna send these guys in to, yeah, okay, we got that. Good. Okay, choose production. Uniclass, so you guys just finished your first level of terraforming, or second level of terraforming, which is great. And you're an abundant planet. You know what? I'm going to prepare almost all planets for production, basic production, because I think that's going to be important. Um, I, I just want to be able to build as much as I possibly can. These guys are pretty much ready to go. Let's get you a marine barracks and a toxic processor. And I think I think you're good. I, I don't think we need the other stuff. You're you only have four more population points to go. I, we could do the farms, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's just get you building a Grizzly Fury and a Colony Ship, and actually, you know what? No, cancel the Grizzly Fury. We're not going to have you building big ships. That doesn't make any sense. Let's get you building Thunder Cubs because they're uh, way faster. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work out well. Perfect. We are retooling because I, I want to just, I want to have a, a huge fleet. Um, although what happened last time, that's not good. So I don't know. We're just going to have him guard because I suspect that we're going to see more pirates over there. And excellent. Done. Okay. Oh, the space factory is done here. Okay. So let's move this guy. Okay. So we've got another space factory there. Um, is there anything else we can build in the system? Actually, you know what? We need another. We need to colonize this system. I think that's really, really important. We could. We could do another military outpost here, or actually, let's let's harvest that gas giant. 
That's a really good idea. There we go. And Shiko discovered space elevator completed, cloning center troop transport completed. Oh. Jeez. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> I thought we built both of those troop transports. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Of course I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Fleet needs next. Okay, so these guys, they're going to build a military outpost. So to prevent what happened last time, because, yeah. I Mind you, I think we pretty much destroyed the entire Altarian fleet. Okay, these guys need to get to Skikat. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Oh, because of that stupid... Ah. It should give you... Ah, Jesus. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whoops whoops okay so the Bolrathi I don't know they had an aneurysm or something the whole Bolrathi race they just forgot what they're doing no I knew what I'm doing it's just I wasn't paying attention okay so you guys are gonna sleep because I just want you to kind of monitor the area I think that's a good idea next turn and then we'll attack the military outpost stupid me uh yeah we need to I see that space factory moved away because he knew he thought it was coming for him but we're not gonna come for him quite yet there we go space factory choose production what do we got here so monstrum these guys should be growing now uh yeah uh didn't we just do terraforming here i don't know i think we need to do more terraforming let's do the neutron collider because i think that will improve the rate this is a rich system and then we are going to do the terraforming apparently you can't do anything else like you have to go through all all 45 turns if it's going to take 45 turns you can't stop it midway and then come back to it like you can with other buildings so you're better off doing all of your production stuff first that's from comments you guys told me that you i get all of my good information from you guys okay done fleet needs orders uh another thunder cub that's perfect let's get you teamed up with the rest of the team over here so let's get you over there and uh we should be able to destroy that military outpost now there we go attack uh take command this is great so this you know take a little bit more damage and then we'll go and get a full repair I'm thinking very optimistically because these guys, I mean, they might have improved their, their missile technology, but last time it was pretty easy to take one out. We, I think we did take damage, though. Okay, let's go. Come on, guys. Nope. Uh, let's go. Let's speed it up just a little bit. I don't think we need to go too slowly here. Um, let's let's sort of fly towards the asteroids. So any missiles, uh, I don't know, that, that, that affects our missiles, too. So let's get around the asteroids so that we can do nice big volleys of missiles and a couple good volleys should pretty much finish them so we're gonna come in hit them with missiles oh, and then circle around kind of get out of range of their fire till our missiles are ready to fire again ouch i'm not sure are they just using missiles i'm not sure okay here we go again there we go circle around <laughs> ah, penetration. Excellent. Oh, yeah, they're, they're hooped. I guess we don't even need to dodge here. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I like tactics. I want to be able to use tactics. Like, I want a reason to use tactics. But, I don't know, is it really necessary? I don't know. Let's just attack. Let's use our beams. Might as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it fell over. <laughs> it fell over. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Excellent. So, yeah, I keep looking at this this results thing incorrectly. So, this is the enemy results here. This is our results. I don't know why I'm so confused by this. I think they need to draw a line down the center. I don't know. Just for me, it just, it wasn't intuitive because I also try to keep things moving fairly quickly and I don't spend a lot of time on my own looking at this game. But, yeah, this is the enemy over here. This is ours over here. So, we took 209 and uh, they dealt 209. It's always confusing for me, but whatever. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let's get these guys back here, and as soon as they're back, we will buy the rest of that starbase. No point in buying it until they're actually there. So there we go. Next turn. Ah, uh, the the Altarians. I can just taste them. Hmm, yummy. <laughs> Roasted on a spit. Cybernet, cybertechnics. We've learned a new trick. Oh. Thanks to our scrutineers. Robo miners. Advanced in robotics allows for the complete automation of. Allows for the complete automation of mining operations, granting a permanent production bonus. So that's for everybody. Everybody, everywhere. Armor barracks uh, allows colony to train and maintain tank battalions to defend the colony during ground invasions. I wonder if we can take those out in troop transports too. And powered armor provides ground marines with superior power and mobility by mechanically magnifying their uh, natural strength. Marines equipped with powered armor have bonus added to their combat rating. So we got all of that. This is actually really good. So I think we're, yeah, we're moving on to something else. Okay, good. So uh, I'm just curious... Does that affect the Marines? Like, we can't even see the Marines in the troop transport. Um, doesn't... Or did we have to collect them before we left? Oh, no. Four Marines. 
and four Marines. So I'm just curious here. So can we, is there anything else that we need to build? Armor barracks. Okay, so let's build that. That'll give us tanks. And I wonder if we can put those in troop transport. So I don't know, probably not. Maybe there's a different type of transport transport we need for that. I guess we're going to find out. And we might, oh, we need to do the global DNA scanner here. Anything else here that we desperately need? I don't think so. Uh, pollution cleanup, of course. Let's always keep that queued because this planet, probably do that right after that. Perfect. So yeah, this planet is, is a serious problem. We need to find a way to deal with uh, pollution better. So there we go. Uh, move. Okay, so let's get this. Uh, space station built by so next turn uh, I guess I should have done it last turn oh well doesn't matter now all right so next turn starbase completed cloning center uh, completed Rex okay so they should just automatically repair right every turn uh, somebody was saying that the military outposts repair stuff uh, I don't know I'd have to read it yeah uh, ship repair 20% per turn ah good information thank you once again comments you guys are amazing <laughs> I may not respond to everybody because I don't always have the time but I do read all your comments and I appreciate them greatly because I don't know I'd be terrible at video games <laughs> if, I was, if I didn't have your guys but anyway so good next turn all right so let's uh oh Hasami let's just take a quick check here so they are still growing terraforming perfect excellent everything's going well fleet needs new orders okay so yeah we're gonna build I like the money. We need to get the, keep the money going. Oh, we could turn we can turn we can turn gas giants into planets now. Do we really want to do that? I mean, we've got more than enough planets. I think I just rather have some extra money. That's probably what we need to do. All right, and good. Next turn. I I yeah okay. Toxic processor completed at Fierus. Good. Uh, Thunder Cub. Oh, good. New Thunder Cub. Let's get over here. Yeah. So these guys. Yeah. Let's. Excellent. Excellent. Actually, let's get you moving on to terraforming after that I think that's oh robo miners right <gasps> oh right okay so robo miners first and then terraforming uh pollution you are starting to grow some pollution so let's actually do the robo miners before everything else and then maybe do a little quick cleanup on pollution after that perfect done okay and actually Ursa 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 I forgot about Ursa we have robo miners now Ursa let's get those in yes oh man okay so robo miners we should actually go and I'm going to, I'm just going to flip through everybody and get them all up to speed. So give me one sec. I'm just going to skip ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't give Robo Miners to everybody, but I gave them to most planets. So all the planets that are either rich and or going to be really big and abundant, um, they all got Robo Miners. Some of the small planets that were poor, like, I, I don't even know why we call I think we colonized some of them because they had, like, either gold or artifacts or something. But, yeah, I mean, some of those poor planets are really, they're just there for research and stuff. I mean, which is good, too, right? It's all important. Okay, so we've got a new Thunder Cub. Let's get these guys into the fray. Do we need to have a second front? I don't think so. I think we can just send everybody. Everybody's going to the Altarians. Yeah, actually, we'll send these guys to Simeus as, yeah, that's probably a really good idea. Ah, perfect. All right, so fleet needs... Okay, so these guys... Oh, wow, they're all ready to go. Wow, that was super fast. Do you think the four should be able... The sh four should be able to take Al the Alkari with a missile base? They had a missile base and, and, a, and a military outpost. So... Or a star base. A missile base and a star base. I think we can take them. I think we can take them. And then we can just come back and repair. And uh, actually, we'll get... Yeah, our troop transports are on our way. So, perfect. Oh, that's great. Okay, next turn. Ah, battle to battle. The ah, news. I like the news. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current number <laughs> of colonies. <laughs> <laughs> we we are double the Sakura, and the Sakura are, you know, they were right up there, but, I mean, <laughs> well, you know, it's unfortunate for them, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay, these guys, uh, yeah, this is why I like to check when we get, when we get a little bit of population, because, yeah, uh, yeah, this is important. We need to check that stuff. So let's just check all the ones that got population. Yeah, I think we're okay for most of them. Pollution. Oh, actually, uh, that's fine. That's fine. They'll be fine. And then pollution, yeah, pollution's getting up there for some of these planets, but no, we're okay. We're okay. We're good. Okay, so next turn. And one more turn, and we get to kill Wilder Prime. Uh, actually, we can do that this turn. Sorry, my bad. There we go. Okay, there we go. Attack! 
Okay, missile base and a star base. Here we go. This is the first time I think we fought a star base. We've been fighting miss or uh, military outposts, but not star bases. So this could be interesting. I think we. I don't know if we defeated one automatically once, but I don't know. Anyway, so let's go. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna control group these guys if I can. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, really? I mean, <laughs> how many? I mean, with only one ship type, there's not a lot of tactics. I mean, it's all pretty much. Our, 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 the battle is pretty much going to go the same way. I hope these are all Thunder, the, the same version of Thunder Cub. I can't even tell. They might be vision, different versions. They are different versions. So one of them has a shield capacitor and the other one doesn't. So we should have upgraded. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, live and learn. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I, the shield capacitor ones are going to do very, very well. I Really? I, I'm surprised that I... I don't remember putting the shield capacitor on the Thunder Cup, but I mean, I mean that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good thing. Did I think I took off their armor or something? I don't know what I did. It was it was silly anyway because heavy armor doesn't use up any space, but the shield capacitor. I mean, that's a really good thing. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, that missile base. We do have a fair amount of point defense. Uh, I think we just need to rotate our guys. So in other words, this guy needs to go in behind now so that he's not the target. These guys go up front. Pause for a second. Okay, no, that's fine. Ouch. Okay, so now this guy can come back around. This guy is going to go back in behind. I, I, We need to turn off AI, too, because I don't want them automatically doing stuff. I wonder if that's for every ship. No, that's... Okay, so yeah, these guys, I want them to just kind of kind of slowly come in, launch their... Drop their load, and then... There we go. This guy's coming around. Okay, and then as soon as we start to get some penetrations in there, hopefully, hopefully we actually destroy their missiles, their, their launchers. There we go. One missile, that launcher is gone. So yeah, actually it wasn't bad. Uh, this guy needs to stay in behind. No, no, no. Oh, I think we took some hull damage here. Okay, let's get him in behind so he's not the primary target. I mean, if the star base was smart, and he might be, yeah. See, he's continuing to target the guy that has, uh, has the shields down. Everybody else can just attack. This guy just needs to get some distance. Yeah, that way you take minimum damage, right? I love it. I love it. Attack! I mean, I mean the AI. I mean the, the AI is doing exactly what it needs to do. Just go in and I the the base is done. It's finished. Look at this. It's taking enormous amounts of damage. <laughs> I guess we can come back in. So even turning this enable AI off, the AI is still on. So that's a bug. Um, they need to they need to fix that because I want to have control over my ships. I don't want to have to be. Uh, constantly trying to fight against the computer as it decides what it wants to do. But yeah, this is great. It's great. Almost got There we go. Yep. He's fallen over and he can't get up. Ah, bigger meat. Bigger meat. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good. Let's attack the colony. Oh, yeah. They got some Marines in there. Let's, let's. Oh, only two bombs? Really? But we have four ships in there. How can we only have two bombs? We have. Well, okay. I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to knock these Marines out. I, but I'm sure that all of our ships... Yeah, so we've got the older version of Thunder Cubs in here. Um, all of our ships have bombs, all right? <gasps> no, the... Hold on. Okay, so this is the older version. The newer version... The newer... Th hold on, we need to check our designs here. Did we take off bombs? Uh, they don't have bombs anymore. Ah, okay, so, you know what, we're going to create a new ship, this is going to be, I wonder how many bombs we can fit on a frigate, you wonder? Uh, I think we'd probably fit quite a few, so that's probably a good good idea, so this is just going to be a bomber, so this is going to be, <laughs> um, the, <laughs> the bear pooper, there we go, the bear pooper, I know, it's a terrible name. And this is going to be, uh, let's see, alternate or, I don't know. I like I like the alternate. That looks more like a bomber anyway. So, and then nuclear drive, titanium armor, and class 3 shield. Actually, we need to remove. I wish they would just come clean with no weapons attached to them at all. Uh, okay. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Kill that. Done. Okay. And then we're going to do shield. Do we really need a shield on these guys? These guys, theoretically, I mean, yeah, let's do a shield on them. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we don't need computers or anything like that. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, specials, we do the armor, or do we? I don't know. Do we? I don't know. 
I think I think these guys just need to be able to get away if necessary. So we'll do the aug. I, the, the problem is they're going to end up in the, if we fly with our main fleet. They're going to fly with. <sighs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'd rather have them. They're not going to be able to escape. I don't know. <laughs> Displacement or augmented engines. ECMs. I think we will do the augmented engines. I don't want to spend... I want more spent on bombs than anything else, to be honest with you. I mean, we could put some death spores on here. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Uh, it's probably a terrible idea, but let's do it. Uh, death spores and bombs. Uh, we only still have nuclear bombs, but hey... The nuclear option is, oh, wow, okay, total space, yeah, we don't have the space for that. Okay, so I guess we're not going to do death spores and bombs, so let's just do, <sighs> can we do one death spore and one bomb? Let's try that. One death spore and one bomb? These bombs take up a lot of space. Okay, <sighs> and no defensive weapons. Oh, that's two bombs. Oh, weird. Okay, uh, yeah, but, <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like maybe we should we maybe we should make it a destroyer. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That way we can have. I want to have a little bit of everything. I want to have some despores in there too. <laughs> sure, why not? Despores and some defensive guns. So uh, mass drivers, point defense, and I think that's the only thing I want on there. Auto fire, continuous fire. No, no, just point defense and a lot of them. Uh, let's get our other stuff set up here too. So titanium. Yeah, that's the best, isn't it? Oh, titanium's not the best. Neutronium is the best. Why wouldn't we just default to the best? I don't know. Uh, the ion drive, yes, of course. Oh, weird. So it doesn't automatically give you the best stuff. Okay, so those shields use up a lot of space, but whatever. I think that's a good idea. Okay, and of course we want the augmented engines or the heavy armor. Heavy armor for sure, because that's just production. And uh, the augmented... No. Heavy, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. But what we will add is a couple of good missiles, though. So a couple pulse lines. Can we add two pulse lines? Just regular pulse line missiles? Maybe faster? Nope. Uh, Merving? Nope. Uh, ECM? ECTM. Yep, we can do two ECCM or two with heavy armor. Let's do two with heavy armor. I don't know if they're using ECM yet in the game. So there. That's that's pretty good. Uh, seven point defense, mass drivers, two pulse line missiles, death spores, nuclear bombs, and you are going to be the bear pooper. <laughs> the bear pooplet. No, no, the bear pooper. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, but it's another, another ship for us to build. All right, so uh, let's throw them up at Ursa. What's Monstrum doing right now? I know they're working a lot on cubs and stuff so uh they're yeah they're working on the robo miners so whatever um can we can we attach anything else there let's see if we can put a bear pooper on there just for the future because i i do want i i would like to have our ships more specialized i think the reason behind making the thunder cub without not having any oh actually this guy does have some bombs on him scout ng i think don't they have bombs no they don't have any bombs ah do we have uh there was another frigate class that we had with bombs too as well no no that's fine that's fine but i do like having specialized ships so i like having ships that are just come in that all they do is they just they're planet destroyers right so and and then you have ships that all they do is destroy other ships and they'll probably have to move in two separate fleets okay choose production we will start building them but not quite yet okay so these guys now have some basic weapons yes they have automated factory missile base and a colony base okay so let's Let's get them working on stuff that will improve the rate at which they grow. So that, and then actually do biospheres first, and then the neutron collider, then the robo miners, or actually the hydroponic farms, because they'll be super fast, right? So we do the biospheres, actually do the hydroponic farms, then the biospheres, then the neutron colliders, then the robo miners, and we might just toss in a shield too as well, or even a marine barracks, or the starbase. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, let's do the shield. Because uh, with the missile, between the missile and the missile base we sh and the shield, we should be okay. But we need to get that up fairly quickly. So they'll put that there. Good. All right. And uh, Kasumi. Oh, they've got uh, terraforming. Okay. So they're working on that. Good. And uh, we basically took no damage. So, yeah, we can just keep bombing. Awesome. So, yeah. Drop all. 
I wish there was an option to just say keep bombing. Like, that would be nice. Okay, next turn. Uh, scout. Okay, so these guys, they do have some basic weapons. So they make they make kind of semi-good garrisons. Good for taking out, like, these scouts that are coming in and stuff like that. All right, next turn. Excellent. And actually, this guy that's sitting out here, the... Ah. Do GNN. Ireland's quake. Oh! <gasps> Colony. Oh, no! Uh, you know, Claw! You know, Claw, what? Oh, no! So, uh, there's some pollution. Uh, we'll probably lost some people. Oh, man. Okay, so, that's fine. Actually, let's get pollution in the queue here. Uh, pollution control, because that is a thing that we're gonna have to deal with. Oh, right, we've got toxic processor in there, too, as well. I will do the pollution cleanup, and then we'll do the toxic processor. Nah, yeah, it's fine. They, they lost some people, though. That's unfortunate. It's always unfortunate when people die. Uh, does it say anything else? No. I probably told us in the news there, but whatever. Okay, and these guys, good. Uh, they got some population. Uh, let's throw another people in a, some more people in a food production. There we go, done. Excellent, next turn. Uh, attack, drop all. Yeah, there should be something to say, just keep dropping your bombs. Uh, I mean, <laughs> all right, next turn. Oh, uh, you guys can just hang out here, perfect. Uh, just, or, I wonder, I'm gonna put them on auto explore, but will they actually get into battles then? Like, if they go into... I don't think they can even go into that territory. Let's let's put him on Auto Explorer anyway and just see what happens. So it looks like he is going to try and get in there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that might that might actually make them very uncomfortable and cause war. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Space Factory 3 Scaler. Oh, cool. Actually, we finished working on this thing. So that's good. Okay, so let's get the Space... Hello? No, no, no. Sometimes it's hard to click on the actual guys. Okay, so anything else in here that we need you to build... Ah, uh, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I mean, we could, we should probably put a, let's get him over here because I think having uh, the military outposts on all fronts is probably an excellent idea. And Kosumi 3 has reached max maximum population. Let's just check that out quickly. Terraforming, perfect. Done. Excellent. Next turn. Okay. Uh, hydroponic farm. Okay. Fleet. So this is the troop transports. I mean, I want them in here, but we can't we can't do that until we've actually reduced the amount of Marines, but this is gonna take forever. This is going to take forever. We need, we need more bombs. More bombs! Okay. No problem. No problem. Almost done, Robo Miners. Uh, maybe we'll hold off on doing the Grizzled Fury right away and go for the poopers. Bear poopers, let's do five bear poopers. Do they have to build all at once? I think so. But we might just buy them out. Uh, we do have a fair amount of money. So if we can, we're going to buy them out halfway or something. Ah, otherwise, it's just going to take forever to like get to a point where we can actually invade. We humans do not take kindly to tyrants. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Okay, so they're afraid of us. Oh, cool. They believe you're colonizing too fast. Whatever. Uh, we're still at peace. Um, but they Your might influence oh. on the galaxy threatens the delicate balance of our experiment. Such hazards cannot be tolerated. Okay. <laughs> I love the voice for them. Oh, everybody's like if you keep spreading your if you keep spreading your claim, so uh, you keep you keep if you keep keep spreading your claim so, comma, we will end up laying our eggs all over your carcass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line, though. I totally use that in the future. I will lay my eggs on your carcass. <laughs> um, excellent. Uh, oh, right. There was a... There wasn't there an, an anomaly? Yeah, there was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to check out this anomaly. Yeah, that's right. I remember that from before. Actually, we should do a quick check. Oh, 112 credits. Perfect. I'm not going to listen to him. Uh, let's send him back and just do another quick scan to see if there was any more anomalies kicking around because I keep missing them because, you know, it'll be a few days before I play again and then I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> Happens all the time. Uh, maybe we should... now nah, we should just keep bombing. I, I don't know. I just wish there was a way to automate the bombing procedure. Yeah, we've destroyed one structure. Yikes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is a Thunder Cub. They do not have bombs on them. Whatever. We're going to send them over here. I think we're, I'm feeling pretty safe in this territory now. I mean, relatively speaking. So I don't suppose we can, can we build anything here? I don't think so. I think we actually have to own the system to build things there, but we'll just give it a shot. Uh, Space Factory finished military outpost. 
Get planetary radiation shield at Ski Cut. Uh, that's good. I'm just take a quick look at Ski Cut here because, yeah, they are working on that government support facility, which is super important. Okay, next turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, whoops. I moved the scout. Didn't mean to do to do that. Okay, I want space factory over here because I just want to see. I just want to see. I just want to see. All right, and troop transports are arriving. There's eight, so a total of eight troops, but there's nine troops on the planet. There's no way, and they have the defensive. I've never done the ground combat. I don't know what works. Okay, we brought them down to eight. Maybe we want to get them down to six or five. That might be a good time to attack. Uh, Rex has grown Robo Miners. Oh, Robo Miners at Ursa 2? What? Oh, next in the queue. Okay, no, Bear Proof. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just out of curiosity, after we've built the Robo Miners, it's only going to take 16 turns. Wow, 4,032 credits. To get those those bear poopers whoops <laughs> really expensive okay rex has grown and they have we i don't think we, well, i don't think it's like we're building five ships i don't think one appears and then another appears and then another appears okay so they are having some issues here let's get everybody into production and let's put you guys on hollow simulator duty our government support facility and then the hollow simulator eventually let's put that in the queue anyway oh no we've got to do the first one there okay let's do the government support let's do that before we do the a uh, neutron clatter, probably a good idea. And Lyra Prime, you guys, you guys are doing fine. Um, yeah. And then after this, what do you guys, you guys, you guys can probably go on and do some more terraforming. Well, let's get your toxic processor up and then do the terraforming, because terraforming is going to take a while, right? So let's do that. Perfect and excellent. Next turn. Fleet needs orders. Okay, so that's our scout. We're just going to have him guard. And actually, we might as well... You know what? He does have a weapon. Let's actually take care of this, this space factory. Let's get him over there. That that makes more sense. Because they're just... All he's doing is building military outposts. Which is a, kind of a pain in the butt. So what we're going to do, actually... If we got our th as soon as our other Thunder Cub gets here, we're going to separate this fleet. We're going to leave the guys with bombs here to continue do our, doing what they're doing. And we're going to send off the uh, the newer... The Class XI. The Class... Uh, uh, class 6? Or Class 11. Class 11 Thunder Cubs to go and keep... Uh, attacking. So I think that's a good plan. That way we've got a nice balance of attack and, and crush, attack and destroy, attack and, you know, you know, all those things, right? Uh, Auto Explorer. Perfect. Fleet needs orders. Right. So bombs away. Uh, oh, right. Okay. So now we have four troops here. We're not going to do that. We're going to drop all. Another structure. And next turn. And bombs away. Like I said, I wish there was a way. There's got to be a way. I know I've said that like 12 times now, but... Oh, nothing happened. Oh, maybe we destroyed a population or something, but I didn't see it. All right, and Asami, let's just take a quick check here. Oh, you guys also need some some loving. <laughs> some happiness. Happy buildings. There we go. you got a hollow simulator coming up. And you're going to be done with terraforming very soon. Uh, threatening fleet detected. Oh, did we never did destroy that stupid scout. Man... Silly me. Um, do we have another scout NG kicking around here? We did, and then I th sent them all away. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's only a scout. I mean, really, the, is the AI going to do anything with that information? I don't know. The AI hasn't, hasn't been that great. We just got some tech, too. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just got some tech. Go to the tech tree, and just I just want to see what it was. Uh, where are we at? Uh, we are at, so Cybertronics. Let's just take a look at Cybertronics. Structural Analyzer is a ship's wep... The Structural Analyzer links the ship's weapons array to a powerful computer that chooses target points on an enemy vessel where the structure is the weakest. As a, as a result, the damage done by the energy weapon that penetrates the enemy ship's shields is increased. So it's good if we were beam weapon based. Cyber, Cybertronic computer uses a neural net similar to the biological brain. It is capable of quickly learning and adapting. These computer systems gives a ship bonus to hit with each beam weapon. So both of these would be... Structural analyzer. What is it's a it's an thing we put on a ship. Yeah, so it's it's an option to put on a ship, and this one here is just uh, the Cybertronic computer. Is is it something that we put on a ship, or is it we just get weapon accuracy bonus now? I think that's that's what it is. No, it, I think it's actually a computer. It's something we build. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to understand these symbols here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, it's a, maybe that means ship upgrade? Maybe. It might be. Okay, so advanced robotics is what we're working on next. Okay, perfect. And fleet. And bombs away. Ah, we need to get those marines down, man. 
Um, I'm thinking six or five, and then we can actually send in our troop transports. And maybe we need to start building some more troop transports too, because they're so fast to build. Now, the space factory, can you actually do anything here? Surveillance system. So, deploys a surveillance system in a warp point in the system. So, but what does that do? Does that prevent spying or... I don't know. Okay. I, I was just curious. What? Hold on. There was some other options there. Let me just see something. Jump gate. <gasps> oh. Oh. Can we build those? Oh, uh, we can build those. So let's get, let's go here. <laughs> Woo. So basically, if we could build jump gates, we could build a jump gate here and a jump gate here. And then all of our ships coming from Ursa will be instantaneously. Oh, that's brilliant. Where's our other space factory? I think we were sending him. I'm just curious. Can he? So he's in one of our systems right now. Can He can't build it. Restricted to system with with colony. Okay. Um, the jump. Maybe I have to build it at the colony. Um, jump gate forms a temporary controlled wormhole terminus in each system in which you have at least one colony. The weakening of this fabric space of uh, space time increases the speed of your ships traveling between your two colony systems. Okay, actually, I'm going to send this guy to Unicla first. I just want to see, make sure that we can actually build this thing. Okay, next turn. I keep forgetting to look at those threatening fleet messages. Okay, so let's do the movement. I just want to see here, because if we can build those at Ursa and... Oh, no, we can't do that. So, or do we have to do it at... I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't give us any information, right? Like, it, I don't understand. Okay. Because we have a colony here. Maybe it's just maybe it's not working right yet. Uh, let's let's send him to Ursa anyway. Interesting. Uh, hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys have the answer to this. Maybe we have to build it at the planet. So we'll we'll give that a shot. But, I don't know, maybe Unicla, we can't build it there for some other reason. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's just not working, too. That's the other thing. Uh, population down by one. Uh, by the time we actually get a chance to attack these guys, um, the, the planet's going to be dead. Like, totally, completely dead. Next turn. Okay, so these guys... Um, just keep chasing that... Uh, oh, is there a military base there? I don't think so. Next turn. Okay. Attack! Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got our new ships here. We can actually s divide this fleet now. Perfect. So we can send our new class of Thunder Club, <laughs> Thunder Club, the Thunder Club, <laughs> um, to go and attack this military base and, of course, uh, slow down the progression. of. We could probably take all of the defenses at Altari, and we probably should. So uh, these guys can still keep bombing. Drop on. This is a long process. I tell you, if you don't have the bombers, it is a long process. How long could we actually build those bombers yet? I'm just wondering. Uh, 2,688. Nope, not even close. Choose production. What do we got here? Kosumi, you guys can keep terraforming or do the neutron collider. Oh, actually, robo miners, and then start your terraforming process. It's probably a really good idea. It is a small desert planet, but I mean, it could be big. It could be big. We just got a lot of work to do here. That's all. All right, move. And let's, oh, we need to check the space factory thing I, I I'm kind of I mean I've got my answer I'm, my answer is that we can't build it but I wonder if it's just a technology thing I don't remember getting this technology that's a thing so I guess we just don't have that technology I guess um, oh let's send the scout to go deal with this guy he's probably gonna come back this way now and we can probably kill him so that's that's good and the space factory now that we sent them scattered all over the place doing random stuff <laughs> that's not important um, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if it's random. If I turn this gas giant into a planet, is it going to be completely random? Like, what kind of planet it's going to be? Like, I, I wonder. Uh, we could we could start building military outposts out here, too, as well, which wouldn't be terrible. Um, let's get one out to Rex, um, because we're going to be expanding out this way anyway, and we're going to want to build more stuff. So it's probably a really good idea to send him out that way. There's nothing else that they can do in here, so... Um, and then the other space factory that we're sending back to Ursa, let's stop that because I don't think we can actually do anything. I think we're just missing technology. We're going to send him off to back to Kasumi because we need to get that blocked off. Okay, next turn. Yay! <laughs> Kasumi Prime has reached maximum population. Oh, good. Um, but 
you guys are working on the neutron collider and then a robot miners yet. So good, good, good. Uh, can't put any more guys into production. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's, yeah, he's gonna come back this way. Oh no, good. Ah, there we go, we got him, we got him. Auto resolve, perfect. Kill his scout, excellent, back. Although it's kind of good for him because it opens up command points, but I don't know. Is he really gonna do anything at this point? Uh, we should be able to attack that military base this turn, so let's go. Um, do we want to attack or just auto resolve? Ah, let's just auto resolve and see what happens. Um, whoa, we took so much damage, 204. I wonder if they even penetrated his shields, actually. Okay. Nope, didn't even penetrate shields. Perfect. On to Alt <laughs> Altair 2. Perfect. Um, and then these guys, uh, hmm. Well, let's just come back here and we'll just kind of, that's good. We kind of got that space factory kind of, you know, on the edge there. And it, do they have a fleet kicking around? They have no fleets. They're toast. They are toast, guys. They're totally toast. Totally, totally toast. Uh, drop all. <sighs> Kill the Marines. All right, next turn. And we get to attack the Altar home world. I think we'll be fine. Biosphere is completed. Toxic processor. Perfect. Move. And uh, t actually, let's do the bomb first. Let's do our bombing. Uh, drop all. We should just get, you know what? Let's just build more troop ships. I think I think that's the answer here. It's just uh, none of our good production planets are nearby. That's that's the only reason I'm complaining. And it, we're gonna need these anyway. But I, I think we just for now we just need more troop troop ships. And they're super fast to build too. That's the other thing. So let's uh, let's remove the armor barracks for now, and build one more troop transport. Uh, we can only build as many. Yeah, based on the amount of marines we have available. So yeah, okay. That, I guess that makes sense. Armor barracks. We're gonna build that anyway. So there's one more troop transport gonna be coming soon. Uh, next turn. Oh, we forgot to attack. <laughs> attack! <laughs> okay, here we go. So we've got star bases, ground batteries, and missile bases. This could be interesting. I'm going to focus our attention on... I wonder I wonder how this works, actually. Let's go. Take... Oh, it's unfavorable. All right. I think we can do this. We just got to rotate our ships and make sure that... Like we were doing before, right? Making sure that... Uh, if there's damaged ships, uh, because all their ships have the shield capacitors, we just kind of got to get out of range. So the the batteries, what kind of range does the batteries have? Is there any way that we can look at that? So they, oh, here we go. So that is their operational range in terms of, so all of their weapons. So uh, just out of curiosity, I wish it actually gave me a number. Doesn't give me a number. A range, oh yeah. Range 50 units. So, and our missiles are range 60 units. How convenient. Let's go take care of that sucker. All right, away we go. Speed it up just a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So, theoretically, we should be able to take out that ground. Is this the missile? Yeah, we should be able to take out the ground battery guy without any problems and without even being attacked by the other guys yet, as long as we kind of stay at range. Just kind of keep an eye on his range. So we want to be like, hold on, pause, pause, pause. Actually, I'm going to run this in regular time. Okay, pause. And then uh, enable, and I, I don't think it matters. I need to be able to control our ships. Like sometimes we want to be able to stop and fire, right? And this is one of those cases where I want to just, I want to go right to the edge of their border there and start firing. And I don't want to move. Uh, ceasefire, retreat. Match speeds. Oh. Yeah, they're going to keep moving. Ugh. Stop. I need you guys to stop. Can I control it this way or something? Match speed? I don't know. I have no idea. I need you guys to not move in. Come on, guys. Seriously? Ugh. Although those batteries did not do a lot of damage. They have terrible Gatling guns or something. Mass drivers. Those are the mass drivers. Awesome. Yeah, they're toast. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Is that dead? Oh, not quite. They're going to be dead soon, though. Excellent. So there's a little bit of tactics here, although it seems a little cheaty, like... Because... Oh, no, stay out of range. Oh, come on, guys. Really? I just hate the fact that I have to keep them moving. Why can't I just stop and shoot? 
so stupid. Look, they get to their waypoint, and then they start moving in. That's so dumb. That's so dumb! Ugh. I don't know. I don't know how to control that. Whatever. Okay, so let's get into range and just blast them with missiles, and if somebody starts to take a lot of damage, we're gonna leave. Go somewhere else. And then we just... The thing is, this is, this is kind of cheaty, because I think, you know, theoretically, theoretically, if the missiles from the planet should be able to pretty much target anything in the solar system, you'd think. Like, why is there a limitation on ground-based missiles? The missiles should be able to go pretty much any range. And that's what I loved about Sword of the Stars in, with planets. Um, with planets, um, the planets could shoot you from anywhere in the system. If you walk, came into the system, the planets could shoot you. And it should be the same with the ground batteries. Ground batteries and the missiles, maybe maybe at long range, the ground batteries shouldn't do a lot of damage. They keep... I wish they would just, I don't know, stop. But I can't do that. I don't want them to go too close, because if they go too close, they're going to be in range of all of their uh, beam weapons and stuff. Not that it matters. We are actually just... We're kicking their butt. And actually, we're in range of those missiles, too. That is a bit of a problem. Those missiles... Oh, look at a Merv when they come close, eh? Actually, we're going to get this guy on this side. Get this guy on this side, who's kind of closer. Ah, it's such a pain. Such a pain. I love this game. I, I mean, it's coming along. I, it's it's still early. It's still early. There's a lot of things that need to be worked on here. There we go. And uh, we should be able to just crush this missile base. Just get sort of... Uh, we, we're prob we've probably been out of time for a long time. I'm trying to do... I'm going to start trying to do a little bit longer episodes. Just... Uh, People seem to like that, um, although it's, it is it is tough to do longer episodes sometimes. But with a game like this, you almost need longer episodes. It just makes sense. Uh, there we go. Um, ooh, we'll get him out of range. See how they, they did? Oh, there we go. Done. Done. Victory! The bears have won it again. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. And uh, we can't attack Colony because we don't have bombs. But we've destroyed all of their defenses here. And how's our ships looking? Spectacular! Spectacular. Guys, we're going to call that an episode because um, we're out of time. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving making it. Um, we've conquered, we've destroyed all of the defenses on the Altair home world. We do have more troop transports coming in. Let's get that going right now, actually. Let's get the troop transports coming in to Walder and uh, we'll might as well do our bombing run while I'm here before I do my save. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we, we are going to have a large group of bombing ships. That's all they're going to do. They're going to sit off to the sidelines, and when we need them, they're going to come in and just bomb, drop, drop spores and viruses and stuff. But anyway, guys, we are starting to walk into the enemy territory. And so Altair, then the Cylons, then probably the humans, and then the Sakura. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. Take care.